this whole corner is literally yeah. a fish cave. Nice. It's nice for predator control, right? To put the yeah. fish caves in. Yeah. Fish caves are... Hey! Oh, Mr. Happy! <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll be bleeding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. He likes. I like his energy. By the way, just so that we were on the same page, this is the room that it's snowing. Look at this view. Dude, that's killer. Yeah. All right, now that we got our smoothies, we got another stop, and it looks like your guy here is here. This is Lance, your maintenance guy? Yeah. You like this artificial grass, don't you, Paul? Getting in my backyard, mark my word. So what's the story of this pond? She called me up and she said, hey, I got a referral from uh, the local koi shop. We'd like you to come out and build a pond for us. How long ago did you build it? About seven months ago. Oh, nice. Hello. So did you know we were coming out here? Yes, I did. See, we, we should have brought you a smoothie. Oh, Come man. on, Dad. Why didn't you bring him a smoothie? You know what? You want half of this? He took care of me and gave me some breakfast already, so I'm good. Don't you love pond customers? Oh, they're the greatest. Just so dope, aren't they? Yeah, I make a lot of good uh, relationships with my customers. What were you doing? What I did is I cleaned out the, the skimmer box, the filters in there. I cleaned out the biofall um, up there. There were some bio balls in there, filters that needed to be sprayed out. Mm -hmm. I just finished cleaning out all the plants, made sure all of her lights are working well. Everything's looking good. She said that she was having a, a bit of problems with algae about a month or two ago, but it seemed to have cleared up. Did you put an gen on it? I haven't done anything to it. Uh, I haven't been here. Uh, we, I come here once every three months. Three months? Yeah. That's, a, that's a long time. Usually we're like, once every two weeks for our maintenance customers. We, we offer different um, schedules, so. Uh, so once every three months. Yeah. And uh, she still made you breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> the water's a little stirred up now it's because. a little stirred up. I just added yeah. a little bit of flocculent to help clear it up. It should be clear within an hour or two. Okay. Um, yeah, it was uh, crystal clear. You guys just missed the window. You should have been here before. You like maintaining ponds? What do you like about yeah, it? Yeah, I really enjoy it. And it's really cool because I was part of this project with building it. And, um, you know, once I build it, I know all the ins and outs of it. And mm -hmm. then once I get to come back and maintain it, when we create all the plants and the custom designs for the customers, and then I get to maintain it after that, I know exactly what they want. So what do you got in your little, this is your little go in the backyard. Little tool every... bag here, yeah, all kinds of stuff. I gotta go repair some lights and another one after this. Got some Aquascape products. Got some silicone, just the general tools. Gotta have my uh, serrated sickle saw for trimming all the plants back. Algicides, just a little bit of everything. So you've been there for a year, what were you doing before? Uh, I worked at a water garden before I came out here in San Bernardino. Uh, we sold all the aquatic plants. We did pond maintenance there as well. Okay. Um, so I was taking care of a DreamWorks pond for a while. That was really cool. Uh -huh. They have a ginormous one. It's like the size of the football field. Okay. Going around to different customers, maintaining their uh, homes. And um, I was living in Mount Baldy before I came down here, and I wanted to get a taste of the taste of the beach life. Because uh, you're a surfer, right? A drummer primarily, yeah. Yes. But I'm trying to get into the surfing life a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Love fair. the ocean. I had some experience before I ran into Dave here, and uh, he's like, I'm trying to open up a maintenance division of this uh, and so, company here. So, he hires you, but he didn't bring you a smoothie. Fish cave down there? Yep. Got a big one back there, yeah. You could fit a small kid in there if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> this whole corner is literally yeah. a fish cave. Nice. It's nice for predator control, right? To put the yeah. fish caves in. Yeah. Fish caves are... Well, this sure changes the space, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This was just grass. And this yard is probably only 30 feet deep. Yeah. This whole yard. Yeah. Yeah. So got a nice little. This is a typical Orange County backyard. Ah. All right, well, we'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Another nice living space. Make a house into a home. Beautiful. A little bonsai. I can tell that this chair gets a lot of use. 
You getting ready to leave? I gotta go do some more maintenance. Show me your, uh, show me your, your truck, uh, your setup. So you do maintenance and then you also help with the construction crew on our bigger jobs or? Exactly, if I'm not doing the maintenance, I'm helping with all the construction. So what I was gonna need today is uh, some stuff for electrical. Uh, I, I always bring a sump pump with me. Mm -hmm. Just in case I got a shot back. Uh, I bring um, maintain bags. Yep, you like the dosing systems? Yeah, seems to work really well. Yes. And um, so I always gotta bring extra ones with me. Got a heat gun because I gotta put some butt splices on uh, some wires for uh, some light replacements. Right. Um, nothing too major today. You got your water test kits? Yeah, I got everything in, uh, in these bags back over. And then uh, I just got some random other parts from other jobs that we were working on. We just had to replace a check valve. Mm hmm. So, just a bare minimum today. Good, good stuff, buddy. Good seeing you. said the customer's biggest regret is what the customer's biggest regret always is which is you didn't go bigger on it right and it's only been there for eight months yeah yeah so, so you gave a customer what he asked for versus what he wanted and you knew it you knew that he'd want it bigger didn't you yeah and he said Dave I really wish we would have gone bigger and I go Paul there's I tried and there's no way you were letting me do it he's like I know but I was wrong <laughs> 100% <laughs> guaranteed you'll be going into that hardscape next year and making it bigger. And how many times have you built a pond that someone said they, they wish they would have built it smaller? Never. <laughs> exactly. No, mine's, bit, mine's huge and I want to build mine even bigger. Yeah. Well, huge is a relative term, kid. Yeah. <laughs> this looks cool. Uh, I was not expecting this. You dig Christmas, huh? I've got, got a puppy since... Uh... Where's the puppy? Come here, baby. Oh, wow. Come here. Oh. Wow, look at this view. Dude, that's killer. Yeah. Hey, oh, Mr. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll be bleeding. <laughs> oh, you got baby teeth. Yeah, you'll bleed. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Happy. He likes, I like his energy. I don't see the water feature though. All right, I'll give you attention. I'll give you attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you pick him up? Can you pick him up? All right, what's his name? Bailey. Yeah, he's got a little bit of energy, Bailey that Bailey does. Yeah. How, how old is he? 12 weeks. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Bailey. <laughs> yeah. Show me your water garden paradise here, buddy. Beautiful. Boy, this is a, this is a great side yard water feature here. Got some nice big fish in there. See the little, the little guy right there, the orange and kind of... Kohaku? Yeah, yeah. He was born in the pond. Wow, he's pretty big. And there's another one, it's about, it's about this big now. Born here. Yeah. Nice fish, buddy. But they all have names. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have we haven't named one Dave yet. <laughs> okay, so so tell me some of the names you come up with. Family names. Okay. Wyatt, Tristan, Mie, Georgie, Joe, Georgina, Lonnie, Wyatt. That's not Wyatt. <laughs> so how many koi do you have in here? Twenty-two. We bought twenty, fifteen of the big ones. Yeah. Five of the little ones. And whose decision or whose idea was it to invest into a, a koi water garden out here? Dave's. How much easier is this aquascape ecosystem pond than your old concrete pond? A hundred percent easier. The other one grew algae, couldn't keep the water clean. This has got the waterfall and it's, it's got the skimmer. Yeah. Which the other one didn't have a skimmer. Let's see this waterfalls. So what room is this right over here? Is this your main living room here? That's the living room, this is the dining room. By the way, just so that we were on the same page, this is the room that it's snowing. <laughs> Yeah.
There they come running, there they come running. I've got them so they eat out of my hand, but they're not. Get you some koi crunchies, okay? What's your koi crunch? A koi crunchy is a way to train your koi to eat out of your hand. So it's basically like a Cheeto about this long, and you hold it, and then they slowly start eating. It's filled with vitamins, and uh, it's just a little treat for the koi. The Cheeto for koi. Oh. I could sit here next to a pond for hours on end. This is literally what living the aquascape lifestyle looks like. Every one of these fish has a name. I love it. Such an enjoyable way to let the stress melt away. You know, everyone's so electronically connected these days. See that sound? This is just a space. Just a space to kick back and have fun. Let the stress go away. fell off the cliff. Go figure. I literally fell completely off the cliff. I thought it was sand, so I jumped down, rock, straight down the whole cliff. <laughs>